This is part 29 of ASP.NET MVC tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss using data transfer object as the model in MVC. Please watch part 28 before proceeding with this video. Now let's say our business requirement is such that we want to display the total number of employees by department. At the moment, either our employee or department class does not have this total property. So this is one example where a data transfer object can be used as the model. So our first step here is to add a class that's going to contain these two properties, name and total. So let's flip to Visual Studio. Let's add a class file to our models folder. And let's call it departmenttotals.cs. This class is going to contain those two properties, name and total. To speed things up, I have these two properties already implemented. So let's copy and paste them right here. The second step is to add an action method to this employee controller, which is going to return the total number of employees by department. So let's make a copy of this index action method and change it as required. Let's name our action method as employees by department. And we want to retrieve all the employees and include department navigation property as well. And then we want to group by x such that x dot department dot name and then we want to select y such that a new instance of our department totals and this class has got two properties name and total which needs to be populated so name equal to y dot key and total equal to y dot count now if this code is not clear don't worry we're gonna I'm gonna explain that in a bit and then once we have that we're gonna convert this to a list and then we hand these employees to the view for rendering so the next step is to actually add a view but before we do that let's try and understand this code now if we have to write a SQL query to retrieve the total number of employees by department, how do we do that? We join employees table with department and then we, we group by department name. Let's quickly actually write that query. So select tbl department.name and we use the aggregate function count of star as total from TBL employee table we join that with TBL department on TBL department dot ID is equal to TBL employee dot department ID column and then we basically group the results by tbl department dot name so obviously when we execute this query what output do we get we get the department names and the total employees within the department so here look at this when we use group by the key column here is the name column because that's the column based on which we are grouping data and then this total is going to return us the total number of employees so and to retrieve the total number of employees what are we using here the count function okay so similarly to get the department name we are using the key property of this y because we are using group by and then to get the totals we are using the count function okay now let's say we want to uh, you know basically sort the department names based on the employees there okay so if I want to sort them in the descending order I can use you know after after we convert that to a list I can use the order by function so we have order by descending order by y such that y dot total so we want to order by descending by total column okay so with these changes let's go ahead and add a view let's actually build our solution so that this employees by department I mean department total class is compiled so add a view let's call our view as employees by department we're gonna make use of razor view engine we're gonna create a strongly typed view against department dot uh, department totals class and I'm going to use the list as this scaffold template and let's go ahead and add this so this should add a view so employees by department view 
okay so with all these changes let's actually run this let's actually set the font style to area and let's use a div tag for that so div style is equal to okay so that's the first change and the second change is actually for this table right here let's set a border so border is equal to 1 okay so with these changes let's go ahead and run this and then actually navigate to employee controller employees by department you know we have that action method within our employee controller so we're going to navigate to that action method and look at that I get the department name and totals we don't want these links here edit details and delete and to get rid of them all we have to do is within this employees by department view let's get rid of this table head from there and then let's get rid of this TD so with these changes let's go ahead and run this once again and navigate to employees employees by department view and notice that we get the output as expected if you want to sort this list in the uh, ascending order of total number of employees instead of using order by descending simply use order by okay on this slide you can find resources for ASP.NET, C Sharp and SQL Server interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.